Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to my Rail Route Let's Play. Now, last time I had a good go at this junction here. Uh, we're going to call it the Newton Junction, and I struggled. I really did struggle, and it turns out the reason why I was struggling was because the polarity of my railway lines was different. The Bridgeton to Cumberlord line was completely different than this line down here, which we'll call the Motherwell line. Um, one was driving on the right, one was driving on the left. Now, I realised this as soon as the, I'd finished recording the episode, and I was like, that's why I'm struggling here. There's just a mental block which is causing me to mess it up all the time. And uh, I saw your comments actually on the video as well. A lot of some of you actually noticed that, so thank you very much for commenting. If I hadn't have noticed myself, it was brilliant that you guys would have pointed it out to me. So what we're going to do? Well, today I want to start getting Glasgow Central sorted out, so it, we can actually start using it. We've got this massive, great big line, and it's not really being used for anything at all because the contracts we had here at Newton are gone because the coach house is gone. So we want to put a coach house in at Glasgow. Before we do that, there's a few things I'm going to do. Firstly, I'm going to get rid of any contract which is causing us bother and backlogs in the timetable. So the trains are running in the background, and if I see like a train getting stuck behind another train because we've just got too many trains in the timetable, I'm going to get rid of one of them. Um, and as we accept new contracts, we're going to get rid of things as well. But also, we've got so much experience, I think it's time to spend it. So, we're going to spend a lot of it. We're going to unlock one-off intercity contracts. Probably won't use them very much, but there we go, we've got them. We're going to unlock the ability to adjust train timetables so we can shift the arrival and departure times. We're going to unlock commuter creation so we can create our own commuter services if we want to. I thought we haven't got enough points for that just yet though, so that's okay. We'll unlock that later. I'm not going to unlock the advanced tracks because, well, if you look at the price of the advanced tracks, it costs five grand per tile. We can't even afford the basic tracks at the moment. We need more money before we go on that. Now the good news is the interface upgrades are cheap. They are all um, green experience, they're not advanced experience. So I think it's time that we did it. So they've got, we've got the uh, train enter button, so we don't have to click on a station to get a train to enter the network when we do one. We've got smart sort, which will um, sort our overview by trains that need the most attention at the top or the ones that are the most important at the top at the time. Next station display, we can add the next station display to the overview there as well, that's brilliant. Uh, alert highlights, so we can highlight a train that needs attention, so a train that's just stopped at a signal for example. And by the same vein we can also have a notification, a sound notification, which is brilliant. So we're going to turn on smart sort and I'm going to turn on the notifications. Uh, also in the interface, train focuses, so we can actually use the camera to follow a train, which will be brilliant. So we can just go, hey, look at this train, Wee! And then, um, what else have we got? Uh, the labels, oh yes, let's get better labels, and not just better labels, but coloured labels as well. So you can see these trains here now, not only do they have their main label of their name, but it tells you where they're going, what platform, and what time they're expected to arrive and also when they're at a station it tells you how long until they're going to be leaving. Fantastic. Now looking at Bridgeton here, the, uh, this is a second arrival train here so we're alright at the moment, there hasn't really been any hold-ups. Uh, our coach house is balanced at the moment. If we have a look at the contracts we've got, uh, where's our coach house? Coach house is at Gumballard, there we go. So we've got quite, we've got three trains coming from, sorry, going to the coach house, and we've got three trains coming from the coach house. So we could actually get rid of the cheapest two if we wanted to, of the commuters. Um, we just have to make sure that we do it at a time after it's arrived, so that we've kind of got a train in stock. We don't get it the wrong way around. So I think that's what we'll do. Once we've got a train in the, oh, well, we're just about to get a train in there. There we go, we've got one commuter train in there. We go to the active contracts. The trains that are coming from here, we'll get rid of the cheapest one, the, uh, sorry, the one with the smallest reward. Uh, we've definitely sorted that out. 
and then in the opposite direction we'll get again rid of one of the two trains with the most uh, useless reward um, it doesn't really matter which I don't think there we go that's going to mean less red experience for us but to be honest money is more of a problem than experience now because we've managed to unlock all the interface upgrades all the automation upgrades and we're just going to be unlocking a uh, one contract upgrade and a few controls so we're not going to need a massive amount of experience right away so removing those contracts gives us more space on the network and in the timetables to be able to accept new contracts so here you can see we've got a contract that goes uh, from yeah we've got from Wifflet to Motherwell to Bridgeton we can't do that because there's no right turn at Newton so let's just decline that we've then got uh, another Bridgeton, Common Bridgeton, but it's only for 2,000, so we'll decline that. They want a coach yard at Motherwell, we'll decline that because we're not building one there yet. Uh, we've got one here going to a different station, so we won't have that. Ah, here we go, a commuter train to Glasgow Central and back. Uh, relatively low target speed. I like the look of that one, we'll accept that. Um, and that line is very, well it is completely empty at the moment, so well, let's set that onto platform, is it going to stop at Wifflet? Yeah, platform 3. Then when it's ready, it can come all the way down the line here. And I want it to go into platform 6 because it's not an intercity service. So I'm just going to quickly purchase the two platforms there. Normally I wouldn't let a train have a direct route all the way through the network like that, but it's the only train on that part of the network, so it should be fine. Now actually I'm going to cancel that and just quickly purchase an auto signal here. Um, it's going to be quite expensive to do all these bits of purchasing, but we'll be alright, we'll get there. Uh, Queen Street, not, in not interested in anything going to Queen Street at the moment. So our first commuter train from Wifflet to Glasgow Central is on its way. It might be that to begin with we have to accept a few commuter trains and once we get that line upgraded this can be our main intercity line. I like the sound of that, just whipping up and down. We could very easily connect Kings Park in here. Um, I'm not going to do it but you do something like coming off that bit and coming off that bit, joining it up and just go straight in. It could be a through station, I don't know, but there we go. So now we can use our new uh, follow features. Um, we can follow this train. We can click the button to do the go to. We can click on the train uh, to get the follow window. And you can see here on the overview that we've got... Um, it's going to Glasgow Central any now, and then the next destination is Wifflet any. Its target speed I think is 44 kilometers an hour on that line. I don't know how fast it is going. I can click on it I guess. Um, okay so it can go up to 120 but on this line it's only doing 40 which is a shame really. So I'm just going to check here. Wifflet's got auto accept trains turned on. Glasgow Central hasn't, but we haven't got a coach yard there yet. I will like to get a coach yard there before the end of today's episode. So let's have a look at the contract, see what we've got. Uh, we've got another Wifflet Glasgow Central Wifflet. I don't see any problem with having that running. Let's get that started now. Yep, platform three. And when you're ready, you can come down here as well. Fantastic. Uh, we're not building a new platform. We're not building it. Ah, see, look, coach yard at Glasgow Central. I'm going to keep that because with the Glasgow Central is where we're going to do coach yards next. Uh, so let's get rid of that one off freight. That's two actually to Glasgow Central there. And they're the same, um, the same reward except one of them's got a higher target speed, so I'm going to decline the one with a higher target speed. There we go. Uh, not interested in one-off freights right now. We will do one-off freights in the, in the future. 
They're just not ready for that. Okay, look, here we go. So now we have to get ready to come back. And he's going to come back onto platform one. And hopefully it's actually going to manage to miss the other train that's westbound at the moment. It hasn't turned around yet. Oh, does it need turning around? It need. I need to turn that train around. Never mind. That's okay. It's not too bad. Out it comes. We, we, I heard the clinky clonky noises from the overview. So we've got the train that's on its way to Glasgow Central now is actually stopped a signal, it says. Oh no, wait, there is a train. Ah, no, look, look, here. Right, I'm just pausing the game for a moment. We've got three trains all blockading here. Now this train is one of the ones that goes to Cumberlord. Ah, right. I was thinking out of these three trains, if this one in the middle wasn't here, we'd be in a better situation. Yeah, I think I'm going to decline that contract. Yes. And then what we'll do is we'll do to make sure that that coach yard's balanced we'll decline a contract in the other direction as well. There we go. So in the future we won't get this kind of back backing up here. We should be able to get much better flow of trains. I don't know if we're going to get deficits or anything there. We're going to get less of the red experience because of that. Um, but to be honest, I don't. I don't mind too much. I don't. I don't mind about not getting so much red experience at the minute because we're going to get lots later at Glasgow Central. And let's have a look here. We've got a one-off freight to Easter House from Newton. Yeah, we're, we're going to decline that. Uh, and then we've got, oh my goodness, there's so many ones coming in here. Uh, a coach yard at Newton. No, we're not having a coach yard at Newton. We've got a Bridgeton to Glasgow Central to, Central to Bridgeton service. Uh, it's only two grand though, so I'm going to decline that. There we go. So we have got a few less trains running now, but hopefully we should have less delays. We've also got rid of the ones that are not as good. They they don't give us as much money, as much reward. So we can be more efficient with what we have got on our network. I haven't really got the money at the moment to build the side of Glasgow Central to get that coach house in, but hopefully we'll, we will have to soon. So I'm going to turn that train around and just, uh, I think I'll, what I'll do is I'll do, I'll just chain these commands together so it just follows the other train. Right, uh, no Bridgeton to, to, to Newton. No, I'm not doing that. We just need a, a coach yard at um, Glasgow. So what I am going to do is I'm, I think I'm going to start building out the track. So this is the main line through platforms four and five. So if we get that out as far as we can, and that's where it's going to then go into the auto block, which means later we'll be able to connect up these two, Queen Street and Patrick, which will be nice. Then we're going to need some sort of crossover. Okay. And we can actually reach platform two from here which is nice. So, is it? Oh, well, there we go. We've run out of money. So we started building the other side of Glasgow Central, and the idea is, is that when we finish building the other side of Glasgow Central, we'll then get the coach yard in and hopefully be able to accept intercity one-off contracts from Wifflet all the way down the line to Glasgow Central. Do we want to accept into cities without upgrading the track? I'm going to say no. I'm going to say we, we keep doing the commuter ones to get the money, upgrade the track, then get into city ones in. Look at that. That is quite a, uh, a line of different stops there. At 41%, three grand. That's not too bad, actually. That's not too bad at all. 
three grand every time one of those pops in and we've got another one coming tell you what we are going to have to do though we're going to have to get departure sensors on all of these platforms and that's going to cost an absolute fortune but for now I'm just going to babysit all that's occupied we'll wait until the train's gone I'm just gonna to have to babysit all of these segments of track down the bottom here until we've got the money for that yeah I mean we were doing so well for money earlier in this series uh, that now we're starting to steam forward to the point where it's gonna cost a lot to do things okay we've got a one-off freight I'm not doing a one-off freight right now thank you very much contracts it'd be quite nice to have like auto filters on the contracts to say like automatically decline one-off freights or automatically decline ones where it asks you to build a coach yard or, or ask you to build a train station and maybe you can set a threshold that set auto declines contracts if they're under a certain amount of money that could be interesting right looking at the Bridgeton timetable there is a situation here where the next train to come into Bridgeton is pretty close so I'm wondering if I can adjust the timetable like I can shift the arrival of this one um, so this is shift arrival shift departure shift arrival look I'm moving it and the timetable there it just puts it in the middle a little bit more. Oh, I like that. That's good. That is brilliant. Uh, there's another situation up here, so I don't know if I... Oh. Okay. So it looks like that that's sorted. There's another one here. So this is the Bridgeton arrival, I believe. Just gonna eke that along a little. There we go. Right, where we go? We've got another contract done. One thousand four hundred. The, the the train is leaving with Flit now, going off the edge of the screen. Fantastic. And just check uh, those contracts and the timetable here. So this timetable is looking much better now. Much better. There's actually little gaps between everything. Um, it, it might be that moving them around helps a lot. I mean, there are a few that are going to go and to platform four and like never come back. And I don't know which ones they are. So I guess we need to be careful about this. So this one here leaves. And where does it come back though? They see that's the train coming back there so many minutes later. So we can we can just adjust that slightly and just move it move it along. I don't want to move that one along actually. That one's fine. All of these are okay now. How are we doing for arrivals and stuff? on the timetable here. Look at this. We've got a couple that are quite close together here on this platform so I guess we can adjust the timetable here and just say adjust timetable just shift it along a little bit okay that's good nothing wrong with that looks like we've got a train coming in and a train coming out of platform four quite quickly so i think what we'll do yeah we'll we'll, we'll adjust the timetable of this train as long as it doesn't i don't know actually it might be all right it might be all right okay cool well the little with a little bit of adjustment we've got a very nice flowing network now we just have to keep an eye on the next train that's arriving at Wiflip so that we don't forget to get it i mean i suppose i could just pre-plan that route for it and we'll see it coming along 
so that's fine and contracts now let's have a look that's two grand we're not going to accept that a one-off intercity um, we don't have platforms for that one we still need to get a um, coach house over here but we're starting to have enough money to build the track which is nice and I suppose if we're going up to platform 2 there we should be able to go down to platform 7 here so there we go that's this side of Glasgow Central I have no idea if we'd ever use platform 1 at the moment I suppose I mean there's no way that that can go straight up I mean you could potentially do something like like that to make a one-off platform that freights can go into um, and you can't go straight up there just because the signal combination but what we'll do is we will go straight up to here because that's where we're going to put our coach yard uh, I can't afford the signal or the sensor for it yet so what we'll do is we'll have an arrival uh, we'll have the coach yard first then we'll have an arrival sensor then we'll have an auto signal we still need auto signals around here but I think uh, I think we're going to just uh, keep this network running a little bit more now. We'll just boost the speed up a little bit, and we'll probably accept a few more contracts as well if we can. Um, especially up and down the Motherwell line, because look, look, there we go. We've got one of our trains just arriving. It would be nice if we had a little bit more of a continuous, nice spacing for these. It looks like it takes around 12 minutes. In, in gap for those ones so to have another contract would be nice look here we go oh, oh that's so oh my goodness so we've got an inter one off intercity service which I'll decline because it's a one off service and we're not doing them right now um, we've got a service that ends at Motherwell which we haven't got a coach yard for and we've got a request for another service that terminates at Glasgow but it it comes from steps where is that? Okay, so all the way from up here, so we're gonna to have to decline that one as well. It's unfortunate. Okay, the next train. Oh no, no, no. Quick misclick. There we go. This train might actually be slightly late now. It might be able to catch up on its um come on, turn around. Off you go. There we go. Oh dear, this is why I need the departure sensors. Right, a one-off intercity service to Queen Street. We haven't got that station. If we've got a one-off intercity service and we've already got the platforms, we'll probably accept that, to be honest. But uh, at the moment, I'm not going to. Right then, so this looks like this is our... Um, our coach house service here and there's actually a very there is a gap between that one train going in and one train going out there that's fine that's not too bad okay so this train is turning round sending back along this track hopefully it will give us some half decent money 19 grand actually now 22 so we can start putting in various different things the auto signal can go in there we can nearly afford the departure I can't remember how much it costs I think it's 20 and then let's check the contracts coach yard at Bra uh, Glasgow Central we'll keep that one just in case a one-off freight that we're not going to do a one-off intercity which we need to build platforms for. We're not going to do that right now. Ooh, a one-off freight that we can't do. So we've got a couple of different options there. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we've got an intercity service to Queen Street, which we can't do. We've got a one-off freight service up here. Ooh, maybe we could do that one. Um, and though it's going from, oh no sorry it's going from Wifflet to Glasgow Central and it's going to a coach yard and it's one off so we could do that the problem is we haven't got the coach yard yet so we'll leave that uh, we've got an intercity 
that goes with flick Queen Street. No, that's no good. We can't do that one. So much that we can't do. It's it's a little bit crazy to be honest. I just need to keep an eye on these trains coming back this way because I haven't got the departure sensors over here yet. We've got uh, we've got about uh, twenty minutes before that next train comes. So. A one off it no we're not going to do a one off into cities yet uh let's get rid of the freight so we've got two commuter services here one from Wifflet, one from bridgeton uh to glasgow central which we need a coach yard for it's been it's been busy there's been a lot of things going on we've definitely we've built up a lot of experience as well we can uh unlock this uh, commuter creation hang on a minute we can do a new contract and we can create our own there's a low reward but I don't care we could cancel them later on okay a uh, pause I've never done this before so we're gonna give it a go let's go to the contract stream screen active contracts right okay so I wonder if we can do like go to the station hang on a minute enables create new contract button in the offered contract to create a commuter contract okay so it's in this screen I think yep there it is create new contract number um, select origin Select destination. Type commuter is the only one we can have. Create. Contract number must be three digits. Oh, my bad. So there we go. We've just created a contract. And it's a one directional one. Oh dear, uh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's try again. Select origin, Wifflet. Select destination, Wifflet. Create. Oh, we need a contract number. S station origin must differ it to destination. So, you have to go to Glasgow, for example, in this one. We've got a couple of good ones there, though. That, actually, that's a very good one. So then we can go Glasgow to Wifflet. There we go. We've got, oh, well, actually, that's a rubbish for contract. Can we try again? Glasgow, Wifflet, create. Oh, it's a grand. And and also you don't get the experience for it. Hmm. That's interesting that. Select so you can't go back to the same as where you were. Okay. So we, we could pad this out a little bit if we had a coach house. Which we don't. So I'll keep that in mind. But for now we're gonna carry on. And I think what we'll do is we'll leave that there for today. I really wanted to get that coach yard in, but at the moment we can only just um, only just afford the arrival sensor. So we'll set up the arrival sensor. We'll select this signal, and we'll select this station, and that will sort out that um, that will sort out that no problem. So what we'll do between now and next time is I will continue to run this network, but I won't make any changes. And uh, when we get back next time, we'll get that coach he uh, house in at Glasgow Central. And I feel like we need to make a line that goes all the way from end to end. So maybe we'll start building out from Glasgow to Queen Street and then Ashfield. It'd be really nice to have an end-to-end -end sort of situation here where we could have an intercity come in all the way through. Um, that's a good target, I think. So join me next time for that. Thank you very much for watching. And until I see you next time, goodbye.